The Kentucky legislature bans gay pet weddings. It's the Onion Radio News. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Kentucky lawmakers dealt a harsh blow to same-sex pet advocates today as they unanimously voted to outlaw gay pet weddings. Republican State Senator John Westwood vowed to protect the tradition of pet marriage in the bluegrass state. Pet marriage is a sacred bond between a male dog and a female dog. And that's just the way it is. That's the way it's always been. Disappointed activists advise owners of gay pets still determined to be married to travel to Vermont, where all manner of depraved coupling somehow remains legal. Doyle Redland for the Onion Radio News Online. This is Piper. You're a bred border collie. Watch this. Piper, fetch. <laughs> Good boy, Piper. You're such a smart dog. So, uh, what can your dog do? Fergus, Bud Light. Head <laughs> dog. Uh, fresh, smooth, real Bud Light. <laughs> it's all here. Though the NCAA has opened an investigation into the recruitment of Kentucky shooting guard Fetch, the basketball playing Golden Retriever, who's averaging 12.9 points per game this year. NCAA officials allege that Kentucky coach John Calipari broke dozens of rules of bringing the highly touted pooch to Lexington, including gifts, improper communication, and illicit dog run visits. Fetch became one of the most recruited players in the country last year, following his breakout performance at the McDonald's All-American game, where he scored 32 points and taught everyone an important lesson about friendship. Now, with more on this late-breaking story, we're joined by Matt Malloy, who's live on the Kentucky campus. Matt, just how serious are these allegations? Well, they're huge, Corey. There's there's no rule saying a dog can't play basketball, but there is a rule against a prospect receiving gifts to influence a letter of intent. Now, Calipari is being accused of providing Fetch with personalized basketball shoes, treats, University of Kentucky chew toys, squeaky balls, wow. and perhaps the biggest bombshell of all, Home Depot receipts now show a booster paid for a private house that Fetch has been living in since 2008. That's unbelievable. Now, obviously, hindsight is 20 but should we have seen this coming? I mean, every college coach in the country wanted to fetch nose and balls into the basket for their team. That is true, but this doesn't seem to be your typical pat on the head or scratch behind the ears. This is a systematic, blatant courtship of a star recruit. Well, Fetch is a great defender. He frantically circles whoever is holding the ball. And also a tenacious rebounder. When he's on the floor, he's thinking one thing. Go get the ball, get it. So big picture, Matt. Do these violations stain Calipari's tenure at Kentucky? Oh, absolutely they do. Calipari's entire recruiting record has to be called into question now. Uh, How did he get point guard Rex to shun his hometown of Gainesville? And now people are wondering, was Mr. Boots a legitimate get? Wow. Hopefully this gets straightened out so this campus can get back to watching Fetch play. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy. Thanks, Matt. Now after the break, Red Sox or Phillies, which team has the best racist fans in baseball? Rapid City, South Dakota, a West Highland Terrier has been barking continuously for six straight years today. A small dog named Taffy was purchased by area electrician David Richards as a present for his daughter's eighth birthday. We just turned 14, so uh, that would be six years. Um, she barked the whole first week, and then that turned into a few months, and uh, she's still barking. She's a uh, super family. Yes. Neighbors confirm the dog's excitable nature. Uh, she talks all the time. She's got a lot. She barks, barks, barks. David Richards said the family has never considered giving the dog away. <laughs> City history, surpassing the previous record of eight minutes. And in science news today, 78% of Americans are totally rude, finds a new report from the National Institute of Tiffany McCloskey. 